This is Tim Searfoss, director and DP for a new upcoming movie called Break Every Chain. It's going to be starring Dean Cain. We're super excited about it. We've been working on the script. This is um, us breaking it down. I have it out here and we have, man, we have all these different scenes. We're very excited about what's going to be happening. Oh, that's all top secret stuff. You can't read that. That's like top secret stuff. Um, which is why we're here. We're, we're just spending a late night here. We've, we've been doing this for a few days now. We've been crunching the midnight hour trying to get this movie, uh, I mean, just as good as it can be. And uh, so I'm here with Danny and Danny's uh, my writing partner and partner in crime. Say hi, Danny. Hi, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Yeah, man. So there's Danny. I do exist. We wanted to document this because it's this a pretty big deal. We're about a month away from shooting this movie. We're trying to get this script done here within the next week um, so that we can get that all out and get all the preparations going and all that. We're back at it. This is day what? Three? Four? Day four? I don't know. They're, uh, blend, they're blending in together. This is day a lot. And what are we doing? We are writing. Check this out. We're sitting at Panera Bread. This what? is our office. So we've got a lot of writing front. Getting things done. Getting scenes written wrote it in about a week because we had to get it done for the film schedule hit it a home run out of the park took it where it needed to be in, in a week i mean it's it's unheard of it is 1 15 a.m and i have finished doing my storyboards here they are right here i was worried i wasn't gonna get them done in time every time i don't do them though i regret it today was also my last day at my job, my day job. I quit my day job to become a movie director. Probably a really stupid move. Only time will tell. Getting ready to drive to go film Break Every Chain. I'm headed towards West Virginia. Uh, I'm gonna be stopping in Charlotte they're about to um, sleep for the night and then finish the second leg. I'm looking forward to this. This is going to be very exciting. I'm a little tired driving. There's a lot of driving. 15 hours total of driving. So, And I've made it to West Virginia. Shoot, is it a two days? There we go. It's a super moving and touching story. I am hoping that I can do the story justice and we pray that God uses this to really impact people and touch people and people maybe who are struggling with these kinds of issues because it's an important story to tell. It's a true story about a policeman um, and, and the, all the things that they go through and it's a touching story and I'm really honored to be able to, to work on this film. We've been praying hard over that this would be the best movie that Jason ever um, made and, uh, and I, I do see God opening doors so. We got the collaboration of the local police department. They let us have access to their cars, to the uniforms are authentic, to the motorcycles, everything's authentic. We're here at Riggs Service Center. Hope comes out. We are looking at wrecked cars, trying to find something to use in the film. So this is how it's gonna look? That's not gonna work. Um, no, we'll make it. Okay. Uh, we're gonna have a head table. I can put some lights out there. I'm recording this now, so if he has a band-aid on his finger later on, <laughs> you guys know. <laughs> Nothing like making a dolly at the last, the day before you have to shoot. Um, Tim, while we're making a dolly, we we ha we have one right 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 there. <laughs> we're making a big a bigger dolly. Oh. A bigger dolly. Oh, okay, okay, cool. Principal photography begins today. Yay! Ah! Day one. Here we go. The adventure has begun. Day one. We're... It's been rocky. <laughs> it's been bumpy. We're in church. Uh, waiting for it to get dark. Hopefully our lighting setup's gonna work. All right. This does not sound confident. But it does look amazing. Look at that thing. 
What are we shooting on here, Tim? Talk to me. This is the uh, one and only Sexy Harry. Ooh, you threw a light on it. Is that cook glass? Is he? Oh man, you you that went cook you, glass. You, you went all out cook there. Cook glass. We went all out. We have no excuses except for me. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> this comes out. It's my fault. I'm gonna pray for you, buddy. All right, here we go. I've got camera speed. Okay, ready and action. You again. What's going on? I need your help. Sure. I screwed up. I told you before, there are consequences. Just hold that right now, just hold that your Please, could you just, could you say a prayer with me? Of course. All right, let's, let's do it again. Sorry, reset, please. Yeah. Thief comes to steal, to, to kill. kill, and to destroy. You've let him rob you of your peace, of, of your family, of your life. It's time you fought back. Okay, so it is the end of day one. It is almost 4 a.m. and we have to be on our shoot at 8 a.m. So, yeah. The shots look great, but it was kind of stressful. We had audio person who has never run audio in their entire life getting a crash course in audioing. <laughs> Not a good, not a good thing to be doing on day one. And then we're supposed to have um, another person who uh, is supposed to be helping us, who ghosted us, didn't show up. So it was basically Danny and I, and then a bunch of people just watching us do stuff. Poor Danny. <laughs> Danny's over there. Hey, I'm still checking the audio packs. Danny's um, trying to help me because I know nothing about audio. I'm a visual person. <laughs> I, I appreciate audio, but um, I, I just, I have no aspirations to, it is the most frustrating thing for me, so. You. <laughs> How you feel? Day two. Uh, tired. A little tired. We got about four hours of sleep. Yeah, right. I've got another long day. It's just only day two, here we go. I'm so happy for you. <gasps> Mom. We got a little wedding scene. Smith Chapel. It's beautiful, idyllic, perfect day. It looks like yeah. someone's gonna get married today. Cool. Action! Action. So I had worked on another project with Dean Kane, and Dean Kane saw me filming and everything, and he told the producer, you need to get Tim to make a movie for you. So I didn't know this at the time. Six months later, I get a phone call, Tim, will you do a movie for us? You know, so uh, told me about Break Every Chain. I just resonated with the material. I said, I know how to tell this story. I'm gonna be forever thankful to him. As many of you know, he used to be Superman. What's he like? He's awesome. You know, he's a, he's a class act. He shows up, very professional, super fun person, makes the set very, you know, uh, very fun. All right, I gotta take a picture now. Let's try it again. Maybe wait till she does her thing. Right yeah. <clears throat> so try to get over there as quick as you can. Okay. Ready and action. You want to say hi? Hey. Christian was amazing too. She's a very generous actress. She she gives you more than she needs to. You were the one that I wanted to spend forever with that I loved unconditionally. She would give me the same 300% amped up performance 
for my coverage every time. Good so, morning. It's day three. Yes. And you've been crying out your eyes for like two, for two days, Probably three days. About eight it, hours total crying. You see this this puffiness is beautiful. What? <laughs> I can have baggage claim with these. Thank you. You want me to pull up a chair and sit down once I give her the drink? No, I think it's better if you just give it to her and just step right back to where okay. you are and then just Perfect. and then just relax uh, while she's doing her thing. Can you all help me um, pray for my husband? I think that he sees things that he can't talk to anybody about. Amen. Yesterday, uh, there's a lot of hurry up and wait. Waiting on stuff you know, whatever puts us to where we end up shooting a little later than we wanted to, but we got out at 11 yesterday, uh, which is not too bad. Um, Danny's leaving today, so that's not good. Uh, check the footage, looks great. Here comes Danny. What's up? <laughs> There's Danny. What up? Danny, how was yesterday? Um. I'm far from 1 to a 10, it was probably, acting was like an 11, 10th performance was probably like a 2, I don't know, <laughs> <laughs> this guy's a slacker over here, had me running around and stuff, and it's been great man, really. Yeah, yeah. acting's been top notch. We're... This dude makes all the right decisions. And, and this dude helps me. Yeah. <laughs> I think it was incredible how Jonathan and Stacy Hickory opened up their hearts and were so vulnerable with their story. And that's why I think it's gonna connect with audiences because it has that level of authenticity that only comes from being truly honest about who you are, about your life, about your circumstances, about your flaws. And because of that, we can see the healing and the true redemption that God provided for this family. <laughs> So yesterday was a really hard day. Um, did a lot of handheld and I'm feeling it today. I'm super sore, but I think it was also like super emotionally draining. Usually, you know, if you do a film, if you're just doing a, you know, I don't know, a comic book movie or something, you're not gonna be affected, you know, by your character and all that. But when you're doing this, all of us were genuinely affected by their life stories and by what really happened, you know? And here we are acting out the scenes that actually happened. I can't do this. So then about halfway through the day, we had a baby scene and those were always fun. Baby scenes never go according to plan. And I, you know, I knew what I was getting myself into. So we get the baby, the baby's super sweet. Christian is carrying her, Ignacio's carrying her, and baby's super cool, super chill. And as soon as we say action, nope, baby starts crying. And then it's like, okay, well, let's, you know, let's see if we can make it work. But the baby's just crying, it cries over lines. We can't, you know, we can't use it. So she gives the baby a bottle. So they put the baby to sleep. I think we shoot something else. Baby's been asleep about, I don't know, 30 minutes or so. So let's try it again with the baby. So the baby comes out, baby's asleep. She hands the baby off. Now the actors are saying their lines like whispering almost. It's great, it's perfect. He sets the baby down in the crib, kind of wakes up a little bit and looks at him. And it's just quiet and docile and just looking at him, holds his finger. It is perfect, it is amazing. It could not have gone any better. You know, so it was a 15 hour day yesterday. I probably pushed everybody a little too hard. Shot eight pages though. That's pretty good. That's some money right there. I love the energy right there. Dude, you feel it. Yeah. You feel it, you, you feel, feel it. it. All right, what you got there? It's my baby pancake. It's so perfect and strong. It's all Ignacio is going to be allowed to eat. Uh, I don't even know what day it is. 
it's all just one long day. Apparently we're gonna go pretty late tonight because we have a lot of night stuff. Um, and I just found out yesterday that my only grip that I have now will be leaving on Monday. And Danny doesn't come till Wednesday, so that means I'm gonna be without a grip. Literally no one to help me for two days. It sucks knowing that Tim is out there and it's it's a struggle and he needs help and I'm not there to help him. I had to come home, you know, to the job. Sure, I get to see my family, but filmmaking's both of our dreams. It's rare when you find in life that you, you're doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing. I just trust that God has Tim every step of the way on this journey. Yeah. And I know that in two days, I'll be back out there to help him. Unit 7-1 on location. So, uh, so what's the plan? Everybody has been doing a good job already. But for those two days, you know, they really did step up. Julie, our unit production manager, was coordinating things and making life as easy as she could make it for everyone. Stacy, who was running our audio, helped him out. She learned how to set up a C-stand and put up an aperture light. And Jonathan Hickory was there every single day of the production, moving things along, facilitating whatever he could. And for those two days, we really needed him. He was doing grip work. He was helping Tim do whatever needed to be done. And I'm grateful. We really couldn't have made this film without them. What's up? We're uh, getting ready to shoot a scene here. We're on the set of Break Every Chain. We're on the movie. set of Break Every Chain with, with the, with the uh, famous Ignacio. Hey. Infamous. That's right. Infamous, I like that. No, not infamous, he's famous. He's very famous. <laughs> if, you haven't, if you haven't heard of this guy, then you've been living under a rock. You should just throw your Instagram account away because you're not in the know. It's a nice hot guy. <laughs> That hot's like so hot right now. <laughs> it's so hot right now. Um, whichever way we're going to this one. Can see us back here? Can you leave it? They're good. It's cute, guys. Aww. Aww. Isn't he cute, Like being on set and seeing Ignacio come into character was absolutely amazing. We weren't watching an actor act. We were watching a person live and breathe in this moment. And it was captivating. I've never met an actor that you could go, we're gonna do a scene where you have to cry. And he goes, okay, hold on. And he comes back like two seconds later and it's, and then it's not just one time. It's, uh, it's guys get ready. He's, he's crying already and he better shoot. <laughs> And I feel like working with Ignacio was, I mean, first of all, he could read my mind. It was crazy. And there were moments there that you see in the film. He's in that state, you know, and and, and it, it looks easy when you see it. But, you know, in real life, when you're there, you know, there's people watching you, you know, and there's lights and and it's like, OK, dude, I need you to go. You know, I need to I need you to go here, you know, and he when he goes there, it, it gives you goosebumps. If there's one thing I know. It's that we're all going to end up dead with no hope anyway. What's the point in this life? What difference does it make and who cares? I don't understand. You're watching it and, and it's like, a, it's a dance. It, for me, it was such a beautiful experience to work with a great collaborator like, like Ignacio. Over here, you're a celebrity, dude. You... Yeah. Dude, I'm West Virginia's finest. Me and Dean came. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know. They don't know how to pronounce my name yet, but they'll, they'll get it. If somebody can spell Schwarzenegger's last name and say it, <laughs> they could probably say Ignacio Medina. You come down because you never want to cross anybody with your barrel. You go this side, six shots kneeling, and then you holster back up and you wait for the next phase. What's up, Danny? Day 15, I've been counting. And so far... 15 already? Is that the director? Or is that the DP? Or is that the producer? Oh wait, is that the writer? No, that's the AC. 
You're not wearing enough hats, Tim. <laughs> right now we are filming a scene where the field training officer, Officer Watson here, played by Sterling, and, uh, and Officer Hickory, they're uh, first day in the car together. So it's kind of a no-nonsense kind of conversation and the rookie's trying to, you know, a little bit nervous and... So we getting some donuts or what? It's baptism by fire, so it's a good first day. Officer Hickory? <laughs> Officer Hickory? Yes, sir. Steve Watson, field training officer. It's nice to meet you. You ready? Uh, yeah, let's go. So who do you play? I am uh, Officer Watson, the uh, field training officer. Jonathan Hickory. I mean, I didn't know that first responders were was dealing with this. You know, I didn't know that it was higher suicide rate. Just shooting this film just made me respect what law enforcement do day in and day out. Look, you are not alone. And I just have so much respect for all first responders. What are you doing, Ignacio? Give me the strength to break free from these chains. I'm doing voiceover work because what I did on the set sucked. So now I gotta, as punishment, sit here in front of the whole world and yell it out loud in the parking lot. <clears throat> break free from these chains. Give me the strength to break free from these chains. Give me the strength to break free from these chains. Did any of those sound okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling apprehension. It's still recording. It, that, this is what it means to be an actor. You sit outside your hotel room with your director, your AD, your DP, <laughs> the garbage men. <laughs> it's all one person, by the way. That, that's not, I was talking about this guy. It's all one guy. You sit here and you do this. All right, I think, um, I think they decided for us that we're done. <laughs> I think they did that. Right. Chains. Give me the strength to break free from these chains. <laughs> uh, give me the strength. <laughs> it's probably more like day 16 or something. 15, 16. Um, we'll be wrapped up in about three days. About three more days of filming left. And, uh, Where are we today? We're at a uh, school. Hey, kid, uh, Mrs. Hickory, where is she? Excuse me, is it 24? 24? Yeah. And then we're going to be filming down there. We're going to be filming with the motorcycle. I was hoping that we could get fall color leaves. We got a little bit, but not, not enough to make it like awesome. But it'll still be cool. Isn't that your job to make it awesome? My job is to make it awesome. All right. But I can't change the leaf colors. Tim lied, my job is to make it awesome. His job is to keep working. Let's go, Danny. What are you filming? That's not what we're supposed to be filming. What? Chop, chop, chop. We got a stuff to film. Let's go, let's go, let's go. That's what I hear all day. <laughs> this guy does not appreciate me. <laughs> Dying out there. Yeah, all right, no, I'll slide you guys over just a little bit. Uh -huh. And Danny, would you mind just um, hissy fit, that's moving the cloth? Yes, Tim, now, uh, keep, keep, oh, yes. How is that for you? How is that? Okay, this is where I will act now. I must get in character. Act for me, Tim, act. I must get in character. Okay. Stop talking! I need to get in character! Okay, are you ready, Tim? No, I'm not in character yet! Okay. Okay, go. Action! I can't do this! <laughs> That's what it sounds like when Ignacio directs. You're doing it wrong, just do it better. Act better! <laughs> Better! <laughs> Alright, here we go. Camera speed. Ready and action. Tim, you, Tim, you good? Yeah. That How was, was great. That, for you? that was good. That was good. Good shots. Oh, that looks, that looks awesome, man. Looks like we're whipping it. Mm -hmm. A little behind the scenes action. Jonathan Hickory is now a professional. That's right. I'm here to serve. Making a film is extremely difficult. 
you have to have all the pieces working together from the filming to the actors to the locations there's just so many moving parts and in making this film break every chain it was like everything clicked providence was on our side we saw god's hand at work and in the end we're so proud of what we ended up with and we hope this film will inspire provide hope and light to those who are hurting Ignacio, how does it feel come and shake your hand and you're pulling out a camera in front of me already <laughs> feels great thank you man it's been a pleasure it's been a pleasure telling your story, man. Yeah, love you, brother. Thankful for you. Woo, we did it. We did it. It's been a long <laughs> 18 days. <laughs> but God's truly blessed it all. As difficult as, as it has been. Yeah, it's been miracle after miracle in this project. Congratulations. This is your first feature film, right? That's right. This is going to be the one that breaks you through. Great talent, <laughs> great crew, great cast. How does it feel being a one man? Behemoth. Um, it's it's a little backbreaking. That's just about it. <laughs> the back hurts. You taking pictures now? No, I'm taking a good video, but you guys look cute. <laughs> wow. I love this guy. We made it. Well, look at you guys freezing up in front of the camera. We survived. Guys. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. And I wonder what you'd say if you saw the things I've seen. So I really think that it's going to reach and speak to a lot of people and change a lot of lives. You've seen so much death. Your whole profession revolves around the evil in this world. Because this life is not perfect. It's broken. You need the only one who's ever overcome this evil. You need Jesus. God, please give me the strength to break free from these chains. It's time you did things God's way. Is that you? That's me. That's my shot. I got two more. Look, look, Coach, I was gonna show you uh, something. So we made the poster, you know, the break every chain. But we need we needed we needed more um we needed more uh, Dean Kane in it. So, <laughs> so we decided <laughs> That's, I gotta touch I think it's just going. I think that should be. This, this is you were like, like what? I was like, that's it. That's amazing. And, and then you know there was another option. So we we we, we need to know which. Option. That's hysterical. <laughs> yeah, man, they were busting my chops for like a month. <laughs>